Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining us today at RelaxBBQ.com. We are getting ready for Thanksgiving. We're gonna do a couple smoke, practice smoke runs on two turkeys. They're about 10 and a half pounds each, and we're gonna be using this Meat Church bird bath. It is a great brine. We're gonna put it in right now, and about 12 hours from now, we're gonna put these turkeys on a pellet smoker, and it's gonna be good. Let's go ahead and do this. Meat Church has made it really easy to do. You take one of their bags, a gallon of water, you mix it together, put your turkey in a brining bag. We're just gonna do it. So let's take a bag, throw a whole bag in there. Oh, look at the color it made. It's, it's more than your average turkey brine that you'll find online, I'll tell you that. The smell of it is absolutely incredible. Okay, so like I said, this is simple. We've got our two gallons of mixed brine. We've got two turkeys and a turkey brining bags in an ice chest with some ice. And that's all you have to do to prep your turkey to get it brined for the next day. Let's go ahead and put it together. Here we go, just gonna throw it in there. There are two 10 and a half pound turkeys in there, so that's why we're gonna be using two of these. But it looks good. It smells really good too. Look at all that, look at all that seasoning in there. There is a lot of seasoning in this brine. It's gonna be really good. Let's take a look at that. It's looking pretty good. Bet those turkeys are gonna taste good tomorrow. Okay, so I'm just gonna close it up, throw some ice on it, and we'll see you tomorrow. We're back, second day, early in the morning. We're gonna get these turkeys out of the brine and we're gonna get them seasoned up. Today, we're gonna be using two different rubs, two different ways, but smoked on the same pit at the same time. First one's gonna be this hay grill, hay chicken rub. I know it's chicken and we're doing turkey, but if you take a look at this, it is gonna be a good rub for turkey. Then we're gonna be using some of Meat Church's Honey Hog. This is what Matt Pittman used on his video in order to cook his turkey. So we're gonna to try to do the same way and see what it tastes like. Let's go ahead and get those turkeys out of the brine into these drip easy buckets, get them seasoned up and put on the pellet smoker. Okay, let's go ahead and just get this rub on these turkeys. This one has, you, you can see the big chunks of garlic. You can see the big chunks of rosemary. I'm gonna put a little bit in that cavity. Put it all around this turkey. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit on the bottom too. Just let that sit there and rub in. Okay, turkey number one is down. So let's start with this meat church now. This is gonna be a little bit sweeter, less savory than the other one. Okay, so now if you look at it, very obviously different. This one is a lot finer grain, grains. You can see a lot more sugar, which isn't gonna be a problem with this cook. We're gonna be cooking these turkeys at 275 to 300 degrees, somewhere in that range. These are gonna be some good turkeys. I can already tell just by looking at them. That's making a pretty color, I'll tell you that. Okay, let's get these turkeys on the pit. Okay, we're gonna get these turkeys. We're gonna be using a Pits and Spits pellet grill at 275 degrees, and we're, gonna, we're using Lumberjack Maple Hickory Cherry Supreme Blend pellets. I think this is gonna be really good. Let's take a look at this. They've been sitting for about 10 minutes. This meat church already has a really pretty color uh, compared to this, which is, looks more like your traditional turkey with those big garlic and thyme and rosemary versus this. I don't know. We're gonna see which one tastes better. Let's get them on there. 275 degrees, should take us about two and a half hours, three. Get these wings kind of tucked under there so they don't burn as quick. Okay, see you in an hour and a half. Okay, we're about an hour and a half in. Uh, still sitting at 275. Let's take a look what this looks like. Oh yeah, they're turning good color. The color on that meat church is looking really pretty. Hay grill hay is looking pretty good. Nothing's burning, which is good. See that skin's pulling off those turkey legs. We're gonna check it in another hour or so and test the temperature, but they're looking pretty dang good. Let's, if you're looking, you're not cooking, right? Okay, so it's been about three hours. These turkeys are done. I've tested them. They're about at 160 degrees the breast. What we're gonna do now is let's take a look and get them off the pit, and then we're gonna cut them up and eat them. Okay, so here we go. So this 
is the hay grill hay chicken and this is the meat church honey hog i'm telling you they look both pretty good the meat church has a lot prettier color to it but i don't know which one's going to taste better we're going to taste test it in here in a minute let's go ahead and get them off the grill and then we're going to eat in about 15 to 20 minutes once they've cooled off a little bit let's do it the meat church it looks very traditional it's brown it's a really pretty color um, the skin's really crisp on both of them. The hay, grill hay, looks a little bit more like traditional turkey. All right, everybody welcome back. So, um, let's taste one of them. I'm not gonna tell you which one's what. Wow, yeah. No, oh, wow. That is good. That is that is really good. The meat church tastes really It really okay. depends on what kind of turkey you're looking for. This is definitely a traditional mm -hmm. turkey. It's great. It tastes This is this is giving you more of that southern mm. Damn, that's good. <laughs> yeah, both of it it's so good too. I don't know. I don't know that I could say either one of these is better than the other. They're totally different, and they both are excellent, excellent on turkeys. The meat it's church. Meat church by a very small margin. Go to relaxbbq.com. Buy these rubs. Relax and keep on queuing. <laughs>